How y'all doing? Donald back again with another epic impact video. Today I'm going to make a video about um, how someone asked me earlier in an email essentially how to take um, the a video and replace the audio in that video with the audio from another video. And I managed to help him do it and I figured why not just make a video so I could help other people do it if they had the quest same question. So that's what this is going to be about today. Before we get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've been enjoying my content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video with anyone else who it might help them. And with that, let me show you the goods. So we're going to go over here. Now, before I started recording, I uh, I made two little short recordings. Um, clip one, and I called it that one clip two. Um, we're, we're going to look at both of them real quick to see what they look like. Now, so that you know which clip is which after we've been doing like merging and stuff uh, I intentionally held up like one one finger during clip one and two fingers during clip two so you would know which uh, video stream is which and uh, if we're going to look at uh, see clip one real fast it's like maybe a couple seconds long just to see what it looks like this is the first recording this one will use the video and not the audio so in this example as I stated in that little Recording. Clip one, I'm going to use the video, but I want to replace the audio with another video's audio. So we're going to look at uh, clip two, and this is the second recording. This one will use the audio, but it will not use the video. So from that clip, I'm going to take the audio from it and essentially put it in, um, in place of the audio in the first clip. Now, the way the person that asked me how to do this was doing it it isn't necessarily the wrong way to do it it was just kind of over complicated what they were doing was um let me make my thing a little bigger so y'all can see it easier uh, let me get rid of this junk okay so the way that they were doing it was essentially something like this so the first one they want just the video right so they were basically doing this. They would do dash a n uh, clip one dot mkv, and what this is saying, since I have the dash a n option on the input, it says ignore the audio stream from this source file. Just give me the video, and they copy the code because they're not changing anything. And we'll just call this uh, what clip one video dot mkv. Uh, there. So this only has the video stream from this uh, from the first one. And if we look at it real quick, we can verify that. I'm gonna let it play, and you should not hear any audio whatsoever because it's been stripped. And then what they did was did basically the same thing with the second one, but instead of doing dash a n, they did dash v n, which means ignore the video stream. And then they did it on clip two, uh, copy codec, and we'll call it clip two audio dot. Uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just you can basically shove everything in MKV, so I'll just put it in MKV. Uh, so now if we look, we have a clip one video and clip two audio. Now at this point, now they want to merge them. So how do you merge them? Uh, I believe the easier way would be to just do what clip one video dot mkv clip two dot uh, dash audio uh, copy we'll say merged separate dot mkv yeah so what we should have now is a video where the uh, video is from the first clip and the audio is from the second clip. Uh, you'll be able to tell the difference because in the audio I will be talking about the second clip, but I'll be holding up, remember, my finger indicating that it's the first clip. So we'll see the merged separate. This is the second recording. This one will use the audio, but it will not use the video. You can also tell because it's kind of desynced. Now, that's a perfectly fine way to do that, but they encountered an issue, which is they also had to change the encoding of the audio that they were stripping 
and the f container format that they were trying to put it into didn't support the encoding. So that was actually the original question. Um, and once I finally got, you know, once they, they just told me what it was they were trying to do, um, which basically was just take, you know, video from this, audio from this, put them together, I showed them a, an easier way to do this that doesn't involve creating these, like, kind of intermediary temporary files. Uh, and also avoids having to try and stick the audio in another format that might not work. And that is, you don't have to create these in, these these little temp files. You could just do this. You could just say, okay, so from clip one, I don't want the audio. So we're going to do dash A in, uh, yeah, clip one dot MKB, and then dash I, or wait, dash V in for clip two, because we're removing the, uh, video and this, this, if you notice this is basically kind of just merging those two these three commands that we did in the one command uh, dash, dash i for input mkb and now we're going to use the map uh, option to say i only want you to specifically write this stream to the output so we want um the video from the first out from the first um input and we also only want the audio from the second input. And we're going to copy, and I'm going to call it merged. And it's going to ask me if I write this, because I actually did this just before I did the recording. And what you will see is this will give you the exact same result uh, without having to run a, like three different commands and without creating those temporary files. Yes, overwrite. So we have one that's just called merged. And you will see that this has is the exact same result. This is the second recording. This one will use the audio, but it will not use the video. Yeah. Um, and if just for shits and giggles, we could do this the opposite way. Like, let's say we want the audio from the first clip and the video from the second clip. Uh, we would do the same thing. We would just flip these inputs. So we're, this one is the second one. We'll do this. And we'll call it merged, uh, what, flipped? Like, not clipped, you dummy, flipped. And now if we run this, what this should be is you'll see me holding up two fingers to indicate that it's the second clip's video, but you'll hear me talking about uh, the first clip. So let's play it. This is the first recording. This one will use the video and not the audio. I do amazing lip sync work, don't I? Um, so there you go. If you wanted to uh, completely uh, over, like use the audio and video from separate files, this is probably the easiest way I would know to do it, uh, which is to not create these um, kind of temp files. You can just pass in multiple inputs like uh, like this, and just say, "Well, use." the stream from this input and use this stream from this input. Um, you'll notice that in my recordings, I have two different um, audio streams. Uh, one because one is for the mic and the other one's for the desktop audio. You could even get this more specific and say, well, I don't want, I just only want the, the first audio stream, which I think in my recordings case would be the, the mic. It would have the, um, it wouldn't have the desktop audio. Uh, just to verify that, I think if I do this, even after after I run this, there shouldn't be any audio because uh, there was nothing being played over the desktop audio portion. Yeah, see, it was, uh, the first the first audio stream is the one that has the mic uh, mic output, and since I didn't include that one, you just don't get anything. Uh, so there you go. That's how you would take video from one thing, audio from another, slap them together like that. Uh, if, you, if you liked the video, if this helped you out, uh, remember to share, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, I did also push pretty much every script that I've kind of written, like, willy-nilly, uh, to do these random little things I've shown into a Git repository, and I have the link in my description down below now. That should always be there. 
Uh, again, I have social links down there. If you want to follow me on Twitter or join me on Discord, those are down below. Uh, if you would help, if you want to support the channel in any way, which would be amazing, uh, those are also down there as well. Below. Those are down there. I can't talk today. Those are down there as well below. And with that, y'all come on back, and I'll see you next time.